Well, the first thing that I, I, I thought about when I saw the video, I was like, nothing that the officers had reported previously lined up to what was seen on the video. I was like, that's, he did not struggle. There was not a struggle for the taser, which I, I didn't believe my brother would have done that anyway. But after seeing the video, I was like, he was running for his life not to be shot down, not to be tased anymore. And I, I, think, I think my brother might have thought that he was just, he was not going to be shot. Yeah. No one would have thought that. Uh, Anthony, you have been so measured and so cool-headed throughout all of this. Uh, but when you heard that the police officer claimed that there had been some sort of altercation before the shooting that led to this and that he feared for his life, what was your response? I didn't believe it. I didn't believe it from the beginning. Once I heard, once I heard the report and read the report, all I could say and think to myself was that everybody will know the truth because that I know it didn't happen the way he said it happened. I just knew it. I knew because I know my brother. And did your brother have any violence in his past? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. We understand that your brother had yes. four children. What was his relationship like with those kids? He had a very good relationship with his children. They have different parents. Uh, the older two had a different mother who was deceased. And now they also lost a father. And the younger two had, had a was married to his wife. He was married to her. They didn't divorce, but he brought them together like brothers and sisters from the same mother, and there was no separation there, and they loved each other that way. Now they no longer have a father. Anthony, what do you want to see happen? I just want to see more accountability in the United States. I don't want to see any violence. Uh, we don't want it. To, we just want it to be a change. We want this thing to change how officers handle situations and that a change can come over America where no other family would have to suffer the way my family is suffering right now.